Hello Aquarius and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Winter Feng Shui Tarot reading. So we're looking at your Winter Feng Shui, which focuses primarily on the north, northeast areas of your property, home, room, or desk, however you wish to apply this information. This is the uh, Feng Shui deck that I am using. We are using only the winter cards, since this is a winter reading. And Aquarius, as always, this is a general tarot reading meant for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. And we're asking Spirit for two cards for Aquarius. So we're just going to let Spirit drop out a couple cards. Okay, there they are. Okay, we'll start with the dragon, and we have number 30. This is movement, uh, the direction. It, this has to do with your peace and happiness, and focuses primarily on the northeast. And the chi here is accelerating, and the remedy is light. So let's read from the book regarding this card. Okay, for the movement, this isn't dancing on the spot. This is fast traveling. You may find yourself traveling physically, leaping across continents, or moving rapidly through emotional situations. Either way, you'll certainly be a blur of speed. And then for your peace and happiness, this may be an area that we don't want to move through too quickly but sometimes we have to. There are some people who thrive on adversity, who learn only from making mistakes, who feel truly alive only when they are going through it. As you move through this area, what can you see? What stands out from this blurred landscape? And then we have the chi, which is accelerating. This is what is funneling you through so quickly. If you want to slow it down, you need to deflect it. You can't have too many mirrors or light in this area, which is the uh, northeast area. And so they should all line up so that the chi bounced off them and slowed down. Angle them to stop the chi rushing straight through. You could always channel all that movement and energy into something positive. Try taking up a competitive sport. No time for questions. You're moving too quickly. So for some of you, this might be an ideal place to uh, set up your workout station. Okay, and then with this, we have number six with simplicity and new beginnings. This is also in the northeast direction, and the chi here is dangerous, and the remedy here is also light. So let's read from that page on that card. Simplicity. A room or garden is only truly finished when there is nothing more you can take away. Before we begin the spring sowing, we have to plow, and this involves hard work. Before you can move on, you will also have to do some hard work. If you are facing northeast, the work will be harder, but the returns will eventually be all the greater. And the new beginnings, this is an area that should be used for generation and growth. Here you can plant the seeds for the future. If your room house faces the south, you may find your life about to undergo rapid and exciting changes. And over here we have that movement that's a blur. The chi flowing here can be dangerous. It is too strong and fiery. You need to place a mirror or a light to deflect this dangerous chi. Otherwise, it can engulf you. You need the simplicity of innocence and correctness. 
This is a room for the winter, a place to prepare for the coming spring. It should be dark and warm. Too much light can encourage the dangerous chi. Keep furniture to a minimum in this area. What can you take away from this area? If you could start fresh, how would you redo this area? So for some of you, this could be setting up a place where you do your meditation, where you can slow down. And that will also slow down this accelerating energy. And using a mirror and light will help um, avoid accidents because we do have danger here. And avoid putting furniture there that you can uh, hit your shins on or stub a toe. Okay, so now let's look into your I Ching cards. And we have number 33, which is a master number. be reading the passage from this book number 33 we have retreat above heaven below mountain the mountain ascends to heaven a judicious retreat the enemy has the advantage under the present circumstances a retreat is the wisest course but for future success, it must be well considered. The mountain provides shelter and the perspective that comes from rising above the situation. From this vantage point, the next battles can be calmly planned. Okay, so with these three cards, a retreat. <clears throat> so perhaps you're going to transform this space into some kind of retreat and it feels more like a place where you can maybe put a chair there where you can sit and read a book and the energy is calm this would also be a good meditation place as well now let's go deeper into this reading with some tarot so let's see what's going on in your world that's affecting your winter feng shui. And we start with the five of pentacles. Okay, for some of you, this can be financial lack. For others, this can be a uh, feeling abandoned or um, rejected. So there's all these emotions where we feel rejected, abandoned, uh, financially strained. And so here you need this retreat. This is a great place to set up a retreat. Next, we have the Four of Wands. And it's ideal to do this in your home. And this will bring a lot of calm, relaxing energy. And even though there's movement here with the Four of Wands, this is a welcoming of family and friends where those who enter your home feel like they can be themselves as you can also be yourself in this space. And then we have the Five of Cups. Okay, this will be a great place for you to grieve because we do have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. And it feels like that you need this retreat for a little bit of grieving and uh, maybe trying to figure out what's going on with this situation that's left you feeling abandoned or rejected. Um, emotionally, financially, however that is for you. But also remember, you do have two cups remaining that you can do something else with. Again, this is part of that taking away. What can you take away? Or how would you start this space over again? 
and it might be difficult for you to um, change that space. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, this is um, how you improve these matters by using your intuition. Okay, let your intuition guide you. Go within yourself because you've not abandoned yourself. You're not rejecting yourself. So look at that within. And then we have the high priestess. Yeah, you're going to balance this aspect of yourself. Um, this could also be a great place to read those spiritual books or self-help books. And make this place very comfortable for yourself where you feel cozy and comfy and um, retreat into a book. Okay, and then we have the Two of Cups that is going to follow this Five of Cups. This is really nice because here we have the Two Cups that are full. And now you come to the point where you realize that and you have so much to share and offer the world. Now with the Two of Cups, this can be a platonic relationship or this could be the new beginning of a new romantic relationship. Okay, and then what to expect if you try the recommended um, remedies here. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. You become a self-made person. You no longer feel rejected. You have this financial freedom. You can do more of what it is that you want to do. And Aquarius, you are a very intuitive sign. So this could bring you to doing something spiritual or that is in harmony with your spiritual self. Uh, perhaps one of the reasons why you've been feeling the Five of Pentacles is because you haven't been comfortable doing the work that you've been doing. It does, There's something about it, and this could be you rejecting certain aspects of what it is that you have to do in your job that doesn't sit right with you. So listen to your intuition so you can sit comfortably in your throne and doing that, you're doing that which feels right and you will be rewarded financially and materially. This could be a new job because we do have the new beginnings a better paying job, and a job that makes you feel worthy of your gifts. And here we have the Four of Swords. Okay, with the Four of Swords, we are feeling stuck. You know, the Four of Swords uh, is the retreat card. It's where we go. When you do feel stuck, it's best to retreat into your safe space where you can have a deeper understanding of yourself. Perhaps delving into your own Akasha records, looking at your soul progress. And you're doing this, there's something about doing this at home that really brings comfort. This is where you feel powerful and strong in your home space. And then you can kind of sort out and resettle and get away from the outside chatter of what other people are trying to tell you what to do. The Queen of Cups here is telling you to listen to your own intuition and do what feels right for you. And here we have the Ten of Cups. And doing so, you're going to find your emotional bliss. And I really get the feeling that this is going to be more of something having to do with yourself. 
finding your bliss and following your bliss. Something has been taken away that's uh, causing you to uh, have a new beginning, whatever that means for you. This could be a change in the phase of your life, you know, what age you are, you know, becoming a more responsible adult or phasing into um, your older ages where you feel more secure and confident in who you are. But there's a moment here where you need to review who you are at this time. And when you do, look at this. This is like a financial reward for following your bliss. Being in your own space alone, that is where you're going to find this inspiration that's going to turn your world around. Now let's look at your fortune card. For confirmations and affirmations, we have declutter. Okay, some of you might have stacked up some piles in that northeast area. So declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. Okay, that could be why you're feeling that five of cups. Because somebody has revealed the not so nice aspect of themselves. And it makes you, it takes you aback. And it makes you uh, perceive that person differently. And you might have to go deep within yourself to like, figure out how it is that you really feel about what happened. You know, whether this has to do with work or it's a personal relationship, family or friends or a, an object that holds many memories for you. Okay, and then your dragon wisdom to conclude this reading. Dragon court. Okay, we have, we dragons love to a just outcome. Our might is on your side and we will stand by you until justice has been done. Hear us roar this pledge to you. Justice is yours. Okay, that does kind of give a confirmation of this five of pentacles, feeling that rejection, uh, that abandonment, uh, feeling some injustice, and you do the best revenge, which is doing even better for yourself and choosing your bliss, what feels right. Because here in the end, yes, you feel you grieve this loss. But then with the two cups that you have left, you still have something to offer. And what you offer is this beautiful bliss to the world. Okay, I'm going to end your reading here, uh, Aquarius. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial. And until next time, take care.